Hello everyone, this is Mario. Welcome to my channel and to stage 19 of La Vuelta 2019 in Pro Cycling Manager. So today we have a relatively flat stage, so this could be another opportunity for the sprinters to take the stage win. But in the final kilometer of the race, we have a climb at an average of 6.6% with a max of 11.6%. So this is definitely not going to be one for the sprinters. And also, I think that in this climb, there are uh, some cobbles. So maybe Alejandro Valverde will have another chance to take a stage win here. He's coming from a win in stage 18. That was his fourth in this race. So who knows if maybe he can take another one today. Of course, Jakob Fugelsang and Philippe Gilbert, also Dylan Toons, are going to be strong contenders for this stage win, but I do intend to win the stage with Alejandro Valverde and take 10 more seconds over Primoz Roglic. And so the riders are now departing for stage 19, and today I actually wanted to take Nelson Oliveira in the breakaway, but he's on a minus two race day condition, so I really won't do that. The point was that he's, he has a quite nice cobble stats, so that would help in the final climb where we have some cobbles. Um, but so I'm going to try something else. I'm going to try to put Mark Soler in the breakaway just until we reach the category three climb of the day. But he's a bit far behind. I don't really know if he's going to be able to get himself into the breakaway. It's not being easy at all. A lot of riders are already going for it, and he cannot get to the front. Let's try to follow now Christian Rodriguez, and maybe he can actually go in the breakaway today. Let's see if it works the way I want to, and if he can take the three points available at the top of that climb. And so we are now two kilometers from the top of this climb, and let's force the pace now with Marc Soler. This is not really a big climb, a hard climb. I don't know if the other riders want to take the points. Let's go with Soler and try the attack now. He's going to take the points. So three points. And this way, I think he will be tied in the lead. Yes, he's on the same number of points as Omar Frail. Apparently, Frail is going to be still the leader. And so, interestingly, the peloton is pulling, is pushing really hard and they managed to bring back the riders in the breakaway. They are, are they trying to attack again? No, they are not. It's quite interesting that um, Dimension Data was really going hard. So I don't really know what the point is. And is another breakaway group going to be assembled in this stage? And so a few kilometers after the initial breakaway was um, reeled in by the peloton, we had a few more riders attacking, and we now have five riders three minutes ahead of the peloton. In this group, we have Kavanya, Ventoso, Koshetkov, Marcinski, and uh, Chernetki. So it's not a really interesting group. Probably Ventoso and Kavanya are the strongest riders in this group. Um, in this type of stages. So let's see, the pace is really slow, both in the breakaway and in the peloton. So right now we have a few strong wins and I'm trying to force the pace a bit with uh, Erviti. The winds are sideways at the moment. It's not going to be for long. Soon the riders will turn and the wind will be on their backs. Um, but I want to try to do something here. Maybe if I can create some echelons, some riders will be in trouble, um, but this isn't really being easy to, to do. I'm trying to pace with Erviti, but everyone else doesn't seem to have a big issue in following. And so now with 51 kilometers to go, the riders in the breakaway are six minutes ahead, six and a half minutes ahead of the peloton. So I think I really need to pace now with uh, my team because no one else appears to be interested in the stage win. I am interested in the stage win and in the 10 seconds that come with it. So let's try to bring the breakaway back in and then challenge for the win in the end. And so we finally have another team trying to pace. 
Bora is really trying to go hard to bring back the riders in the front. With 26 kilometers to go, they are still three minutes ahead. So this is going to be really tight. I don't know if we are going to be able to catch them back. And the pace is now really insane in the peloton, trying to bring back the breakaway riders. I'm trying to relay with Erviti and Nelson Oliveira, but their effort level is at 92 and they cannot keep up with the pace. They cannot be the ones relaying at the front. This is absolutely insane. And even more insane is that Tadej Pogacar is the rider pacing at the front. Uh, this is a bit... I cannot really understand this. Let's try to protect, keep protecting Quintana and Valverde. 16 kilometers to go. I think we are going to bring back the riders in the breakaway. Only 1 minute and 20 seconds now separating these groups. And let's see what happens in the next few kilometers. Finally, Nelson Oliveira is relaying uh, in the front. At, let's drop the effort to 87. I really don't want to... Well, maybe 90, but again, it's Team Emirates and Trek Segafredo pacing really hard. Valverde and Quintana are still well positioned. So let's see, 11 kilometers now to go, still one minute between the riders in the breakaway and the peloton. And so we are now 7.5 kilometers from the finish line and still 50 seconds between the riders in the front and the peloton. <laughs> There's a bit of a uphill now, and I think I may have to use this. Let's see if I can do something here with um, Mark Soler pulling Alejandro Valverde to the front. Let's increase the effort of Nairo Quintana to 99. This doesn't need to be as strong. Let's keep it at 87 with Mark Soler here, and soon... Um, they will start descending, still almost one minute. The riders in the front are going to take the stage and I cannot do much with um, my team. Now 1.8 kilometers to go and I will start the climb with Alejandro Valverde soon. Let's go with him now and let's start sprinting actually. Can we do something? The stage is going to be won by Czernetki. What a surprise win. And Alejandro Valverde is going to be the first rider from the peloton, but is not going to take any time over Primoz Roglic today. And so Sergei Czernetki takes a surprise win for Caja Jural. The breakaway was stronger than the peloton today. This has to be the best win in Czernetki's career. I may be wrong here, but it's a really strong win by the Russian rider from Caja Jural. Alejandro Valverde was the first one in the peloton, but he was only fifth, so he didn't take any time bonus today. So, because of that, there were no changes in the GC after this stage. Roglic still leads 52 seconds ahead of Alejandro Valverde, then Jakob Fukulsang is third, with Nairo Quintana trailing him by only two seconds. In the mountain classification, Omar Frail keeps the jersey, but is now tied with Marc Soler, both on 55 points. In the points classification, no changes here, but Valverde once more increases his lead. Miguel Angel Lopez is still leading the best young rider classification, and his team, Astana, is still the leader in the team classification. So the peloton really trusted too much in their abilities to bring back the breakaway riders. They let them go. They gained a big enough advantage to reach the end um, ahead of the peloton. And with that, Sergei Czernetki took a really strong win for Caja Rural. Alejandro Valverde was only fifth today, so he doesn't take any time uh, of bonus to close the gap to Primoz Roglic. And as such, their difference in the GC is still on 52 seconds. And so let's now look at the next stage, stage 20. This is going to be the one that is finally going to decide the GC winner. It's a really hilly stage. It's considered as a mountain stage. Um, the climbs are not really steep and long, but it's a constant up and down throughout the entire stage. 
So yeah, the goal will of course be to take 52 seconds over Primoz Roglic and to try to win the GC with Alejandro Valverde. It's of course not going to be easy, but I'm really looking forward for this stage. I hope you are also looking forward to it, and I also hope that you have enjoyed this stage. If you have, of course, I'd love if you could click the like button. Also, I really appreciate your comments, so please comment below and tell me what you think about this stage and what you think about my chances going into the next one. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate your support and I hope to see you all next time for stage 20 of Love Vuelta 2019 in Pro Cycling Manager. Bye!